Well, happy holidays. Hopefully everybody got a uh, some good deals, a Black Friday, Cyber Monday, this, that, and the other, all that good jazz. So, this is what I picked up. I kind of like the funky, cool colors. Reminds me of like Miami Vice or something from the 80s. And um, so they're discontinuing this color, so it just kind of enticed me a little bit more. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't know. I haven't really used this. I, I, it's no haven't really. I have not used this yet. I put two pair of shears in here, little cheapies, okay. Um, but I got it, and I'm just I'm just gonna say it, the construction doesn't feel as solid as the original. I've got one of the original backpacks, and so all right, why did I get this? I already have a backpack because like really. The backpack carries so freaking much, and like I just don't need that much. You know, I do a, a couple, a handful of house calls and everything, where like one or two clippers works. Um, you know, a pair of shears, a water bottle, and you know I'm good to go. So this is plenty big for you know my purposes. Now, what I did notice that like when you I, I saw this online, I'm like, all right, clippers and all fit in here, cool. No, clippers aren't gonna fit in these things. Can you move them over and make them fit? Probably so. This side, maybe not as much. Um, just kind of give you an idea of, of the size. All right, hold on there. We're back. Okay. This is an Ergo. Because we can read Ergo, right? Actually, I don't even think this is an Ergo. This is not an Ergo. Fun fact. This is a... Um, Oh, what is this thing called? From Italy. But anyway, not important. So, give you an idea of the size here. That's where you are. I mean, yes, the Ergo is a little bit longer. But, you know, it won't fit in any of these without moving them around. Is it made for this? I don't know. Like, a shaver wouldn't even really fit in there. That sort of thing. You know. But... Just for size reference, but you know, plenty of tools. And if you need to move something in there, you could. Or you probably put a shaver like on its end and fit in here. You probably could do that. But you do have all the space underneath here. Now, this, these things here are flimsy, dude. Like, wow, they're, but do they need to be more? You know what I'm saying? Like, so all you're doing is just creating a little bit of a separation. So, I could get by with that. The only thing I don't know how it's going to fare is how much, how loose this piece right here is. Like, is stuff going to slide up under here? Like, my hand can easily go up under there. You know, are tools going to shift around and slide and transit? I don't know. Um, probably definitely have to, you know, I'm sure it will tighten up. Maybe it's still pretty loose. I don't know. Really don't. But, all that said, Still probably the best travel bag for barbers out there. Um, I do kind of feel this might be a little too short to really hold it. Like, uh, this is what I say about the last one, of uh, uh, the other one I have too, the backpack, is this is really not that functional. Now the one on the backpack kind of gets in the way a little bit more in that it's hard to... Um, you're not just really are, it's going to be able to use it as using this as a stand to stay in place as you operate out of here. Because you can't, and this one's going to do it the same way. I don't know how you would connect this to this with this being open. And to me, the reason you would want to connect that is so this stays up. That way when you're working, you don't have to, you know, have your tools flopping behind you or anything like that they stay up and, and stay where you want to be because you're creating a workstation. So if it stayed in place, you'd have your workstation that could work out of it. But that's not really functional in that means. Excuse me. Um, still, you know, it's a cool looking bag, man. Um, yeah, it's got, it, it's essentially just a laptop bag. So you have the thing right here for when you're traveling, you put it on top of your, um, your suitcase handle, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've got no regrets on buying it. Um, I, I probably will transition. I don't know what I'm going to do with a big backpack. I mean, I guess if I get flown out somewhere and need my stuff, 
I can, you know, take it or if I need more stuff. Like, so the backpack, I throw lights and everything else in, but I don't use them really on location, maybe a few times, but I found really most of the time that it's just not worth setting all that up. Um, and, and I carry it around to use it maybe once or twice. So, you know, and a lot of times, like on a location, really, if you need something, the client's going to help accommodate as well. Like, if you need more light, stuff like that. So, is it a perfect bag? No. Um, the price on Black Friday was good. Regular price, I don't think is great. Um, I, I wouldn't buy it at regular price, honestly. Um, longevity, how's it going to hold up? You know, that remains to be seen. We'll see. Haven't really had any issues with the other one. But I don't carry it day in, day out. Like, I don't take my tools home or, or anything like that. So, you know, that would be kind of interesting to, to know the difference of. Um, I've had other barber-made backpacks, you know. And you find something with each of them that you like a little bit more. of. Like, I like the zippers on the JRL the best. They're just super easy to operate. These zippers here are a little stiff. Um, but, you know, they work. It's almost like a waterproofing type zipper, which I don't think is really needed. But anyway, um, and shipping is high on GNB Pro products. Like it was 13, 14 bucks to ship that, which is kind of like, eesh, it's a little crazy. You know, you're so used to other places giving you free shipping. I mean, I understand that's probably exactly what it cost, you know, shipping UPS, right? It cost every bit of that. So I, I get it. Um, it's just, you know, when you're hit with it, you're like, man, that blows. Anything else on that? You know, I do want to get the lighted mirror from GNB Pro and the vacuum. You know, the vacuum is identical to one that used to be made, I think, in India, wherever you can see them on Amazon and stuff like that. It's no longer found, so I'm kind of guessing maybe he made a deal and bought out the rest of the stock and put, you know, had them branded for his. Or had them start making them again under his brand. I don't know, you know. Um, but it's cool that he's going out there, taking the initiative, finding products, you know, and saying, hey, this would probably work. This would, you know, if I took this from that, that from the other, and then you call these companies, and this is what I want to do, and they do it. That's pretty impressive. And, you know, turning it around and making it available for us, you know, that's pretty good. So, um, that's about all I've got. GMB Pro, that's the, I don't know what you call it, is, is the, the clutch, the laptop bag, something like that, you know, kind of a girly color, but, you know, dude, I'm secure enough, I don't care, it'd be hot pink and polka dots, I would, I'd still, if I liked it, but yeah, it, it does give you that Miami, 80s Miami, you know, kind of vibe and stuff, and also, too, I kind of like that it stands out because now people start asking questions. Dude, what's that weird-looking bag you got? What you got there? Oh, it's my, my tools for cutting hair. I'm on location today cutting, you know, so-and-so celebrity. Oh, really? And then, yeah, let me give you a card, you know? Um, whatever, you know. Have something a little different stand out, make an end. See you next time. Appreciate it.